Hey guys, my name is Connor Ford, and I'm going to teach you guys how to set up your ball pythons enclosure. Now right here we have all of the materials needed, so let's get started. Alright, and this is the snake that I'm going to make an enclosure for. His name is Fang. He's a ball python. He is awesome. He's got, he's just one of those normal ones that patternless, no, no more for anything. He's awesome. He's super tame. He's my favorite. Alright, let's put him back here. I'm just putting him here for a couple of minutes while I get his tape set up. You see, here's about three feet long. So. And he is male, so a male will get a lot, not too big, around three feet, that's about his max size. A female will get a lot bigger, maybe six feet. So you're going to need a much tank, bigger tank. This one right here is a 40 gallon, which is perfect for his size, but a female might need a lot bigger than that. Alright, so here are all the materials um, you guys just need. I'm just going to walk you through each one, tell you what his use is. This is forest floor bedding by Zoomed. This is the bedding, or also called substrate. That is right here. This stuff is perfect for snakes. Another thing that is good for snakes is orchid bark, but I prefer forest floor bedding because my ball python, he's from the rainforest. Alright, this is just a little thing that I just put there so he can just climb around, explore. This is just a little plant. He loves this thing. This is a snake cave. It goes right over here. And I'm saving this for a little bit later. This is called a sphagnum moss. This stuff is goes right here. It's just, it's like a sponge. It traps water. What you do is you put it in lukewarm water for maybe a couple minutes. Then you rinse it out, start sp take it all out. You put it right over here under his little rock where he's gonna go. And under this rock, I have a heating pad. The ball pythons do not require any UVB lights or extra lights that go on the top. So I have a UVP pad that goes over here. Now that, it's nice and warm already. And what I do is I put this in here. This traps humidity. When I put this over it, it just becomes like a warm, humid cave that he loves. And last here, we got the corner bowl, or it's a water bowl, but I call it the corner bowl. And this is not, it can be a water bowl or it can be a feeding bowl. It's also by Zoom In. All right, so let's just start setting it up. All right, so now let's start putting the stuff in. I already have some of my sub substrate, forest floor bark, and some of the sphagnum moss already in there, but I'm just going to add a little bit more of this. They do only recommend around a fourth, fourth of an inch of substrate, but I like mine to look a little bit like this. It'll look more real. So I'm just going to add a little bit more over here. Not too much since I already have some. Okay. Spread, and we'll just spread it out. Just make it all even. Not in this corner because that's where my water bowl is going. Alright. Next, I already have some sphagnum moss in there, so I'm just gonna. That's enough. This is all you need. Okay, I'm just gonna. We'll start with the house. This a little cave. Because over here in the corner, over the sphagnum moss. Just put that back in there. Next, I'm gonna put this water bowl in here. I'm probably going to spill it. Okay. Okay, please don't spill. Please don't spill. Oh, that was close. Oh, my God. Touchdown. Okay. Whew. All right. Okay, that's good. There we go. Goes on that side. It's a nice big one where he can put himself into. He let, so ball pythons like to bathe in it, so he'll put his whole body. What we used to have was this little one, and he couldn't even fit his whole body in there once he got bigger. So we switched it out for that nicer one. But it also looks nice when takes some more space. I'm just gonna set this like maybe like this, right up against something like that. Now ball pythons don't need that much stuff. Like all you really need is their little house. And a water bowl. You don't even need this. That's all you really need. And yeah, they're really easy, simple to keep. I don't, you don't even need this substance. All you need is just the cheapest thing you need is just a paper towel. So you can just put a couple layers. But I like to mine look a little bit more like this and nicer for everyone who comes and sees it. I'm not going to use this plant for right now because it's going to take up too much space. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. All right, now let's put Fang in here and see what he thinks about it. It's good. Oh, that smells bad. Alright, let's go. I'm 
most likely he's just going to slither off into his cave because he is nocturnal and just prefers not to be handled. But see what he does this time. Now I'm going to add a lid because snakes are escape artists. Alright, so now that you've got your tank done and he's all happy and set up, there's not really much to do when you're maintaining it. You do want to disinfect everything, take everything out, wash it off with natural soap at least once a month maybe. Clean out this water bowl once a day and you do want to keep him humid because ball pythons do need a humidity of around 50 to 60 percent. Then you just want to spray it down a little bit. Spray it down, especially the phagnum moss under his rock because that's what traps the humidity and makes his rock cave thing not nicer. alone for right now and let's let him get used to that. My name is Connor Ford. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you and your new pet ball python. Now, if you guys please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any ideas for future videos. Thank you for watching.